doing some what? Uh, Jamaican style? Cabbage. Seeded cabbage. We're going to do some Jamaican style cabbage. And I'm going to go in some hot buffalo wings for you guys that you're just going to have to throw in the microwave for about 15 minutes and enjoy that with your cabbage. Yes. So it's an unbeatable combination here. So stay tuned with us, join us, and we're going to go in and pick this up, huh? Yes. Alright, so let's take ourselves a little road trip and pick up the buffalo wings, people. Yes. Alright, buddy. try and make your way around here to the, uh, to the chicken house yes. and uh, pick up some of the large bags of buffalo wings like we're going to do later on today. Uh, we're going to pop these in the microwave and I use the microwave for what about 15 minutes. About a good 15 minutes. Yes. And uh, they come out falling off the bone. Yep. So especially uh, while the kids are out of school or anything, this is a great way to go ahead and uh, get them fed real easily. They can even do it themselves. Yes. But you guys will see when Kay here makes that uh, that good Jamaican um, rice. I mean cabbage. Yeah, that Jamaican cabbage. Yes. To go along with it. So yes. It's a heck of a meal deal here. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. In fact, what else do they have here at the at the uh, oh, well, they have chicken house? Mm -hmm. oh, they got some pork lion chops. Popcorn chicken or something? Yes, I know. Uh, chicken nuggets. Uh, yes, I got some chicken patties for $12.95. Chicken patties? Yes. In the pork, I mean, the pork chops is like $28.95. It's a big box. Big box? Yeah. Yeah, so you know you're not going to get that at the grocery store like that. No. Nope. So, yeah. It's lots, lots of good, great, great things. No, go ahead. Um, they have, they, oh, this is my favorite. These That's chicken good. chips, they're really good. I like chicken too. My husband like the chicken. I mean, this is buffalo wings. I like the white meat. It's delicious. Okay. What's that, the chicken strips or something? Yes, this is a good one. I like that one. All right. That, that you did, right? Yes, they also have some seeds and fries. I would say it tastes like Raleigh fries, or maybe even better than Raleigh fries. This big bag for, for $9? Okay. Huh? $9.95. $9.95, yes, she said $9.95. Yeah, let's grab a bag of those too, by the way. Okay. What, did you buy? Did you pick up some? Yeah. Did you pick up some? No, he just did. Oh, maybe that. Guy. Okay. All right, then. Famous, we are out of this KFC. Oh. We're out of those. That's our number one seller. Oh, KFC? I love the Buffalo wings. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they have the Buffalo wings. Yeah. 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 Cash. 
Oh, wait a minute. Uh, are you picking up something, Sam? Yeah? You picking up something? Uh, well, I need to see what's here. I've been on that side. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll just hold off for you. I want to look at something that they uh, tell the people about the chicken for a minute. Uh, hee hee hee. And see what? Yes, these are the. Do you want to dance for me? I'm going to dance for me. I'll buy it for you. Yes, you can do that. No, I'll come down and put it on. Well, since we are out, I was just buying for the Sunday. Yeah, I'm sure you don't want to die. Yeah, he's on it. Zombie? Uh, you said you want to pay I for it. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, uh, I guess he, he'll, he'll let me buy him a bag. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Carl, do you say hot? Well, everyone. 
one. I can see that we're going to uh, get ready and take the chicken in and we'll soon get started with the Jamaican meal. But before that, we have a very special treat we want to enlighten everyone on. And that is uh, some of our good Jamaican wraps at one of our first locations here, our franchise locations. So if you will, just stay with us and we're gonna go by and show you guys what we have there. Yes. Then we'll get started what, with, uh, with the meal. Yes. Yeah, with the meal portion. So hang out with us just a little bit longer. Yes. franchises uh and now serving we got our jamaican wraps here and everything so you guys follow us on in you see we need to pick up the good good stuff what's going on big guy hey, doing all right good good so, yeah as everyone will be able to see you can always come over here at uh 100 walnut street here in Pine Bluff area, and uh, they now fully stocks the uh, cooking with the Sterling's uh, Jamaican wraps. They come in uh, chicken wraps, cheeseburger wraps, and we have the barbecue and rib sandwiches. Uh, these big thick wraps is uh, five dollars each, and the uh, barbecue rib and fries is three fifty. So, really, pretty much something you just can't beat there, really, huh? Yes, you're right. So yeah, definitely want to stop in and check check out some of these. Mm -hmm. It's hot and ready, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, it's hot and ready, and it tastes really good. Yeah, it tastes really good. That's for sure. Yeah, right here at the Fast Mart in uh, Pine Bluff. Mhm. Mm it's actually right here on Walnut Street, right by Rich's. Yes. So uh, yeah, come on down and check it out. You guys will not be disappointed. In fact, what these uh, cheeseburger wraps, I guarantee you tastes better than any cheeseburger on the market. And the chicken wraps, there's no taco place, period, that can hang with that. You're right. None. So, yeah. Well, now that we have shown you guys where to come, if you're ever in town or if you are in town watching it, to pick up some great authentic Jamaican style wraps and everything, I guess it's time for us to head back to the house and what uh, show them how to put together this uh, Jamaican cabbage. Yes, yeah, steamed cabbage. Steamed cabbage along with that uh, buffalo wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right, so we'll see you all there. Yes. Jamaica steamed cabbage. If you need a whole cabbage, you're going to cut up my whole cabbage. I have a little piece left here. You're going to also need some carrots, some uh, onion, and some tomato. So, when you, when you go to the grocery store, you normally have this cabbage, you have this green leaf on there. Remove the green leaf because that green leaf there is really hard to throw. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this part right here. Put it in my plate over here and I cut it like this. Be careful that I know how to do this. It's good for me. This, go like this. You need to cut it in small pieces. In small pieces? Yes. So I'm cutting it like this. It's like this. This. If you have a chopping board, you could use a chopping board. I prefer to use my hand. She I'm not going to use her hand. Yes, you know, cut like this. I'm not going to cut myself because I know what I'm doing. I'm an expert. So, 
And you're gonna make sure whenever you finish cutting up, you're supposed to loosen the carrot, the cabbage, excuse me. So you're gonna loosen them up like this. Pieces. Might as well wash my hands. You never know when I may be having to assist you. Ah, that is big. Yeah, I know. That's a big that. Okay, so this is the way your cabbage is supposed to look when you finish cutting up, like this, like this. So I don't know if you guys see it good, but coming in closer with it, yeah. This is the way it's supposed to look, in pieces like this, just like that. So now I'm going to move on to my um, carrot. My carrot, I cut them in like this, in a round circle, cut them small. So when you steam it, you want to make sure it's true about to eat. But uh, remember, you're supposed to always remove the, the skin from the cabbage. I mean, the carrot, excuse me. So, in other words, the ingredients that's needed for the Jamaican cabbage is what? Cabbage, you need carrot, you need onion, you need tomatoes, and you also need your salt, your black pepper, and some vegetable oil. Okay, so simply cabbage, which is obvious, it's, it's a cabbage dish. Uh, carrots, onion, tomatoes, and uh, you need a salt. Salt and pepper. Yes, and your vegetable oil. And vegetable oil. Yes. I thought it was something else that you use. No, but uh, like some type of pepper. No, I uh, no. Oh yes, I mean yes. Uh, my cayenne pepper. In Jamaica, it's catch bunny pepper, but I call it cayenne pepper. Habanero pepper or cayenne pepper. Okay, so where is that? Uh, this is the refrigerator. Do you mind taking it for me, please? I can find it, yeah. Using out of the plastic bag. Can you find it? Mm, not yet. Do you want me to get it for you? Yeah, you mind as well. You're going to tell them where you got it. Okay, I get it. So, anyway, uh, guys, I picked up, as you all know, these. Uh, this uh, large bag of these uh, buffalo wings and uh, later I'm going to pop them in the microwave 15 minutes cook time and you'll see how they come out just tender and right off the bone man I'm just gonna pop like that put it in my mouth you're gonna think I'm a cartoon character I'm just gonna put it in my mouth and when it come out you're just gonna see the bone <laughs> real top just the bone be on some fat boy time <laughs> okay this is the pepper this is called habanero pepper. It's really hot. It's, a pepper. it's really hot. Huh? Yes. A little weird looking pepper. Okay. Yes, it's good. So now I'm putting up my onion. So I size my onion like this. Like this in small pieces. So I guess while Kay is cutting up these good onions and everything, and you guys can see exactly how to do that, it's a perfect time for me to let you all know that of course, we here at Cooking with the Sterlings, we are still awarding people gifts. As you all actually seen, we was at the, uh, in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, we was at, at the chicken house, and uh, we uh, was there to buy individuals uh, Big bags of chicken, which you saw us buy an individual uh, bag while we was there, uh, as well as uh, at our own franchise location. Uh, we was also over at the uh, Fast Move, Fast Mart. Yes. Fast Mart here in Pine Bluff. That's uh, a co-franchise of ours, and they carry our Jamaican wraps as well as our uh, what our our Jamaican cream pie. Yes. The cream pies is up for order, but yeah. And uh, also, with the current situation in the uh, American and world at large, I guess you would say, I hate to name it, but with the coronavirus going on at this time, uh, it is hard for us, or Kay at least, to go and shop out of town at different uh, genuine stores and buy certain designer items that we have been giving away for months. But uh, as soon as this situation has come to an end, that uh, stores is back open again, and we can start moving about, 
we will pick up more items and we will get right back to awarding the next person's pick. And uh, as a matter of fact, we actually went around to a few boutiques here in Arkansas and we saw where they sell certain designer items. We, we're thinking about picking them up, but I'm going to let you know we can't guarantee the authenticity right now. So if we pick those up, we can't guarantee it's genuine. But you know, they look and feel, so you know, they're cheaper than what we normally pay, so that's good at our pockets, I guess. But yeah. uh, we, we will pick them up. Uh, we even seen some nice Louis Vuitton belts mm -hmm. as well, like hers and Gucci belts. Uh, it felt the same quality as hers. Um, you know, it's worth a shot. We'll, we'll still try and pick some of them up and award people some. Yeah. So, but in the meantime, you guys just keep on uh, subscribing and and uh, hopefully soon we all get to picking you as well as other different gift ideas. Maybe paying someone rent one month or something. You know, we'll try and keep being more and more creative. Yes. Then? Yes, honey. Yep. Yeah. So, hmm? um, whenever you're cutting up your tomato, you make sure you remove this seed part of it because you don't need the seed part in the in the cabbage. It don't taste good. You don't want to have seed in your mouth. No, you don't want to see it in your mouth. But that's my favorite part. Yeah, I know it is. Uh, the tomato top. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, baby. I, I don't like the seed part. Mm. <laughs> so, this is my pepper, the habanero pepper. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, I don't want to say all the grocery store. I need a few grocery stores here. Like two of them. Mm. So, this is the habanero pepper. The way I cut my own, I put it like in a star like, in a star way. That's the way I cut my habanero pepper. Um, you could put maybe one or two seeds in there, but it's going to be up to you because this stuff is really hot. But me and my husband here, we like spicy food, so we don't mind it at all. Yeah, I'm down with the spicy food. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, cut it like this. Like this. I'm going to remove this seed out of here. So, as I, I hate to keep talking on it because there's enough of it in the news and to me all this about it causes people to have anxiety and everything, but it was something that came across my Facebook, uh, or I'm sorry, across our Facebook page, business page, Cooking with the Sterlings. Mm -hmm. Someone had sent a, uh, a clip or a live feed clip from an elevator camera. And in this elevator camera, you're going to see some very sick-minded individuals here mm -hmm. whom in one of the elevator footages, you're going to see them actually spit in a handkerchief or something. And they're going to rub this stuff on the elevator keys. Okay, I guess to spread the uh, coronavirus, if yeah. they can, if it's really possible to spread that way. So, all I would say... Be careful when you go out to certain places. Uh, a lot of times, uh, Kay and I, we use uh, gloves, not the plastic gloves, because you know it can spread even more that way if you're not steady changing. But uh, we use some um, cotton gloves. Uh, yeah, they're made out of cotton. Yeah. Winter, winter type of cotton gloves uh, at certain places that we go. We put them on right quick. You know, it's, it's a good defense away from just touching on surfaces. And of course, you can always come home and throw it in your washing machine and wash it on hot water with the liquids in it, and it's going to kill all germs. Mm -hmm. here. So that's just my tip. But in the meantime, I'm going to grab my laptop for a second. I just want you guys to see what I was talking about. Okay. Why, uh, Kay is study cutting up things. Yes, honey. So yeah, everyone, uh, I'm here on my Facebook page, and I hope you guys can see it. I'm going to start it, and you can see for yourself the video I got in that was sent from, from the surveillance cameras in the elevator. You see the individual? He actually spit on that, and now he's rubbing it on the keys of the elevator. Sick. Look at this one. 
sick. Look at this lady. She's just spitting on it. She ain't rubbing it. She's just spitting up on it. Ooh, that's I swear, people, um, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's dangerous right now, so please be careful when dealing with, with, with this type of conditions going around. So, now I'm finished cutting up all my vegetables. So this is what supposed to look like. You know, I put in four different groups of right here. Oh, I mean tomato, onion, carrot, pepper, and my cabbage. Wanna rinse my hand? I'm put my Sounds good to me. I'm going to put my pot here, and on my stove, I'm going to put that high. I'm going to get my oil over here. Get my oil over here? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You want to actually wait until the, until the pot get warm before you put the oil in? Yeah, because I have a little dripping on water in here, so I don't want it all to pop up in my face and burn. Okay. I'm gonna protect myself, you know. Yeah, whatever. Protect yourself, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so now you see all the water dropping on the pot, right, Brandon? Yeah, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna put my little oil in here. You don't need a lot of oil, but you just your own judgment. So it looks like it's a good little dab. I don't know if you guys can really see it deep down in there, but. Nice little dab it looks like she didn't put in there. You know, nothing too major. Yep. Real nice little dab. Yeah, so now I'm gonna have my cabbage. Just gonna pour it in the cabbage. Yes, I use my hand to put it in here. This. That's why I told you that whenever you put the, I mean, finish cutting up the cam, you need to make sure it's all loose enough. Just like this. 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 Well, I suppose you don't just have to hold it all at one time. Right, baby, I need a fork. Okay. But they say people in hell need ice water. So, you're going to make sure you turn it around like this. Make sure it don't burn or nothing. Just turn it around. You can call it fried cabbage or steamed cabbage or one in general, you can call it steamed cabbage. Same catch. Yes, honey. Oh, well, yeah. Have a heel, 
and she actually was going what down the yes. letting the lawnmower go downward and bring it up. So mm -hmm. I guess all that bending it probably was working the ab area. Yes. You know, so that's a that's a great weight losing technique as well, I suppose. Okay. You just add me the bowl of, I mean the plate over there. Sure. Okay, so because my, I mean my cabbage is, you know, kind of steam, I'm going to have my rest of vegetable in here. My cabbage, my onion, my tomato, my pepper, and my carrot. So, now I'm going to cover this up and I'm going to let it steam. So let it steam for how long? I would say maybe around 10 minutes. And I'm making it, you know, the carrot needs to really steam and cook. I'm going to have my salt and my black pepper. Can I salt and black over there, honey? Black pepper? Yes. There you go, ma'am. Thank you. And some salt. Thank you very much. I guess it's up to the individual how much salt intake they really want to have in their diet, though. Yes. There you go. So I guess while Kay doing that, I'm going to go ahead and rewash my hands again. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how I do them buffalo wings. Okay. Well, that's why we had buffalo wings, yes. so, you know, you can have yourself a meal of Jamaican cabbage with some buffalo wings, kind of like an American Jamaican style. Yes, honey. I'm yes. the American king, she's the Jamaican queen. Yeah, baby. Jeez. All right, people. So, for me, uh, I use this a nice little uh, glass ceramic type bowl. You know, um, with your buffalo wings like that, go ahead, crack it open, and given the status that I like, I like mine a lot. So, oh, they kind of frozen still, huh? Yeah. Are these just, you sure you ain't got buffalo wings? Yeah. These are not buffalo wings, Katie. These is regular wings, right? It's buffalo wings. That's what he said. Buffalo right? wings be the little small ones. Well, that's what he said on there. Buffalo wings. Okay. Yeah. Maybe they got the, maybe they made with the wings, though. No. Oh. I didn't know. Yeah, maybe that's what it's look for. I know I think it's the right stuff. Okay. microwave for a good 15 minutes see how that turns out people. Even though know they're frozen I usually try and make sure uh, mine isn't frozen but I guess it's still good even 15 minutes worth frozen is all right. Still eating a little bit more salt and pepper, huh? Yeah, to me. Sure. Let me see mine though. Can you see? Sure. See, it's simmering down. Cover it up right now. Then I come back and check out it. Ten more minutes. Sounds good. I guess we'll just check on it together in a little bit then. Yes. So, well then, one, if you will excuse me, I'll be right back. Okay. So 
anyway, yeah. while you just been playing around here and stuff. What's wrong with me playing around? So how's it going over here? Well, I think my cabin is it's finished. I'm going to turn my stove off. There it goes. I know everybody like, how is it that she just finished up the cabbage that quick, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, we did take a quick little break and now we came back, though. So, the cabbage is going to take the color off the, the carrots and the tomatoes. So that's why the cabbage looks like, you know, it's like orange, right? But it tastes really good, so I had a little pinch more than more uh, vegetable oil in there and a little more salt. Because it needs a little more flavor to me. So... So maybe you'll let me try it in a minute? Yes, honey. I blow it for you because I don't want to get burned. Yeah, because it's hot. It is. Come, Rod, I feed you. Come on, Rod, I feed you. No! Come, let us feed you. Come. Let's say no, man. Come. No! Come on, Rod. Come, stop playing. Come. Come. Well, okay, I'm putting on your chin there. It's good. Uh, Ooh, oh. What? This is spicy for you? Man, you overdid it with that pepper, didn't you? Well, like I said, the cayenne pepper is a little bit spicy. So maybe I should at least put half in there yourself once. So. Uh, yeah, people, make sure that, that, that pepper that she uses, is this orange looking cayenne pepper or whatever it is, that yes. Jamaican cayenne pepper, make sure you put half of that in your dish because. You don't need, unless you really like your stuff hot and spicy. Otherwise, you, you don't need all that. Yeah, but you know, at the grocery store, I think they call it habanero pepper or ghost pepper. It's just one the smaller pepper and it's orange. That's it. The ghost pepper? Yes. So we get the ghost pepper. So that's, that's my, my cabbage there. Mm, okay. That's our Jamaican cabbage. Let me yes, try uh, and find something to put in there at the end. I guess you can get ready to uh, pour the cabbage up on that. Yes, baby. And you will rinse off that. Because the sound is if the uh, 15 minutes is up on the microwave, so I'll go and grab the uh, buffalo wings as well. Yes, sir. And then everyone can uh, see the dishes put together nicely. Yes, I'm going to, you need a fork or a spoon. Uh, let me use a fork for a moment. Let me, uh, yeah, we'll right get a I need a Well, I was thinking, um, yeah, this is what I need. Mm -hmm. Your oil. Yes, I'm going to get my food here. Okay. Oh, maybe I should use a big spoon. You think so? Yeah, big, no, a lot more scoop. One of those. One of what? One of these. Oh, okay. So, buffalo wings or so have been in the microwave for a good 15 minutes. I'm bringing these babes out. They got the nice juices on them, good. As you can see, the, the fork goes right on in it. Yeah. It's so hot, I am not going to demonstrate to anyone how to stick it in their mouth and pull it out. The bone. So I'm not I'm not a cartoon character like that. It's too hot for my for my mouth. Oh, so no, I'm gonna put in my cabbage. Yes, ma'am. Like this All that, uh, and some of that black pepper you have in there makes me want to cough a little. But I'm afraid if I cough, people might start running the other way, the cameraman and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you may like, uh, let me run too. Yeah, right. We ain't here. Yeah. <laughs> well, darn well, I have not been infected with no corona, and I'm not making no jokes on that one. Yeah, I know, honey. That's serious business there, especially for some of the disturbing things that people is out there doing to spread this virus. I just can't believe it. So, I guess that is our, what, uh, Jamaican dish for the day? Yes. You Jamaican. can do some, uh, what, um, Cabbage. Jamaican-style cabbage? Yes. And, of course, you can 
Pick up yourself some buffalo wings and have yourself a plate of cabbage and buffalo wings. So, we, what we could call? We could call this American Jamaican dish, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Jamaican style, as she said. Yeah. And uh, pretty much, uh, what, the cabbage cooking, it took about, what, about 15, yeah. 20 minutes? Yes, yeah, between 15 and 20 minutes. And the uh, buffalo wings in your microwave take about 15 minutes as well. So, yes. you know, guys, it's something you can get done real quickly once you go through the prep work of the, of the cabbage. Yes. There's nothing to it when you do the uh, buffalo wings. Just put them in a little dish and put it in the microwave. You're ready to go. Yes. So I guess until next time, mm -hmm. we will see you all later. And this has been Cooking with the Stories. Yes, Jamaican style.